Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn about unit testing on a form group with form controls. To understand more about form group with form controls, please watch my Angular tutorial video. I will provide the link in the description for better understanding. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here, here I have created a form with two input fields like email and the password and also a button this example i have explained already in the angular tutorial video now we will be testing for this form using a form group and a form control before that let me quickly show you the demo for this application so already the application is running in localhost 4200 let me run this at localhost 4200 and let me zoom this yeah, so this is my input fields and let me inspect this and also let me zoom the web. Yeah, let me go to the console and here I have typed something and the username password. Let me click on this. So we are getting an object. This is a form group object that is email and the password reset. The password reset and the email are my form controls which are already defined in my TypeScript. Let me go to the TypeScript and these are the two form controls which are defined for a form group and assigned to a login form group and also I have consoled whenever the user clicks on the login button. So that I have binded with my form group that is login form group and also a form control that is email and the password reset. So now let me test this form inside our spec file. So let me go to the spec file and create let fixture. I'm creating a variable called as fixture which is of type component fixture and the generic type is app component and also let me create a component instance colon which is of type app component so i have created a fixture and a component instance and after the compilation is done for this particular spec file then let me assign fixture is equal to testbed dot create component of app component i have created a fixture for my app component and also let me give a component instance that is equal to fixture dot component instance so i have created the instance and the fixture for my component let me save this and now what i'll do is i'll write a it description i want to check the form controls inside a form group so here it will have a callback inside this callback already we have some content in my typescript file and that should be binded to my form group and the form controls for that sake i am updating my fixture by using detect changes and then fixture dot when stable whenever my fixture is stable then i am calling a callback function and inside this callback function let me get the two elements so const email colon it's of type html input element and equal to my fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of what is my selector let me give an id for this email so id equal to email and also let me provide one id for the password field so password and then go to the spec file let me copy this email go to the spec file paste here and it is of type id so hash and semicolon now let me get the password element password html input element is equal to fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of what is my id it is hash go to the html get the password and paste here so i got the two elements now let me give some value for this elements by using a property called as value so i am providing some value to this that is sai kumar and also i am providing a value for my password so equal to one two three four five six and then i'm generating an event that is by using a dispatch event i'm creating an event over this email that is input event and also password dot dispatch event of new event why we will be generating an event is we are generating this event just to map and update our value to the form control so as per the dispatch is asynchronous call so let's detect the changes again because it has to update in my typescript form control fixture dot when stable then it is again a callback function and inside this callback function by the time let me minimize this terminal 
okay and let me write a callback function in this callback function what i want to do is i want to check the form controls where are my form controls the form control name is email and if you go to the ts file already we have that email and the password inside the login group so i can access this login group from the component instance so what is my expectation expect component instance dot login form group dot value this will contain all the value which is existing in this form group that means the object which we saw here that will be updated accordingly with this keys and the values which are provided in the fields so what is my expectation it should be equal to an object with email as what is the email which we are passing which i am passing sai kumar so let me pass sai kumar comma i am passing the password that password is equivalent to my id of that password that is a form control let me copy this form control and paste here and pass the value one two three four five six so this is my form control let me save this and let me run this up application by using ng test i am already running in this terminal so one was success but if you see here we got some error what is the error the promise is getting rejected why it is getting rejected let me save this html file and let's wait until these ids are updated now the ids are updated but if you see this dollar dot email is checking for empty that means the values are not exactly updated why let's resolve this problem the problem would be something like module so here the form control m can be detected only if our module contains a reactive forms module as we learned in the previous videos reactive forms module is the responsible person to check all our form controls so now i saved this file here if you see everything was success so that's how we can get the particular instances values by using a form group and we can test in this way so let let me revise this by minimizing so if you see here this is my whole test case here we are getting the elements and i am updating the value in the elements this is something like we are giving a value how we are giving in this input fields in the same way i am giving some xyz values that means a test data and that email and the password input fields i am dispatching an event that means we are typing something and that can be generated virtually by using an event and later on as dispatch event is an asynchronous call i am waiting for the changes and once the changes are updated i am checking with my form group value so it is same like this example whenever i enter something in the username and the password and clicking on login we are getting an object so that is what we have tested in this particular spec file hope you guys like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you